Dance is a powerful tool to express yourself and inspire others. As Fox 2's Dina Santafati shows us, a woman who was told she would never walk again is using dance to give back. You might think someone in a wheelchair can't dance. Well, get ready to be enlightened. As a young girl, Cheryl Angelelli loved to dance. She also loved to swim. I walked into swim practice one day and I, I never walked out. Our swim coach had us doing a new racing dive and I hit my head at the bottom of the pool diving off the starting block and I broke my ne neck and became a quadriplegic. After that moment in 1983, many doubted Cheryl would swim or dance again. I remember laying in the hospital room and um, having the doctors tell me all the things that I wouldn't be able to do anymore. And I just remember being so angry and thinking, how dare you get to decide the rest of my life? You don't get to decide, I get to decide. So I was pretty determined that I was gonna live a pretty full life. A full life it's been, Cheryl is a decorated Paralympic swimming champ holding two world records, but something was still missing. I always told people that I miss dancing more than I miss walking. Take me to arms. Thanks to a special place and a special person, Cheryl is feeling joy again on the dance floor. At Fred Astaire Bloomfield Hills, she found a wheelchair ballroom dance program called Dance Mobility and she found Sergio. Fall in love in mysterious ways. How is it different from in doing regular dance instruction? It's not, not. No? Nope, it's not different at all. Wheelchair ballroom dancing is popular in Europe, but rare here in the U.S. Cheryl is trying to change that. With a grant from the Rehabilitation Institute of Michigan, she and Sergio recently traveled to Arkansas to show a little girl paralyzed in a car accident she too could dance again. We surprised her with a private ballroom dancing lesson so that she can perform in her school's musical. Watching wheelchair ballroom dancing as a performance is touching, but for the couples who take part in the dance mobility lessons, this is a whole new way to connect. The able-bodied person who suddenly realize they have something else they can do with their partner, you know, they can dance, and it's just the joy you see in both faces is just amazing, so. It's a cool program. Cheryl and Sergio are training for a national competition in November, but she feels like she's already won. I love being on the dance floor. It's um, just a sense of freedom and movement. Thanks to the Rehabilitation Institute of Michigan, Fred Astaire Bloomfield Hills is able to offer free wheelchair ballroom group lessons. And by the way, that national competition I mentioned, Cheryl and Sergio won first place. So congratulations to them. For Holiday Connection, I'm Dina Santafanti. One word, inspired. We hope you are too. And we hope you've seen that one person can have a big impact. If you need help getting started, our giving guide can steer you in the right direction. It features the needs of more than 100 local nonprofit agencies. You can pick one up at any Gardner White furniture location. Fox 2, Gardner White at 100.3 WNIC invite you to make a holiday connection. To learn more about any of the agencies we've mentioned in this show, log on to fox2detroit.com slash giving guide. Thanks for joining us.